go again. Preparing for the apocalypse. Okay, so I was asked by a couple of people to slow things down so you could actually see what I'm doing. So before I get back into hyperspeed mode, this is what it looks like from inside the hole. A big pile of rocks that have been gathered. And I'm going to use to build a fireplace stove over here after I mud in all these bamboo skewers. Really cheap and easy. You don't have to sharpen a bunch of sticks, just jab them in the ground. Time to get them some twine. Pretty solid, see. Uh, it doesn't want to budge. I'm gonna jam some rocks in there, mud that in, get all that dirt to fill up more. Sandbags, custom camouflaged. Okay, these are the steps leading down into the hole. Just a couple feet deep so far, see? A step down like this, like that, and then down into the hole. Okay, and this is what it looks like on top of the hole right now before I get started. Filling up punch bags and building up that wall some more, so see. Okay, so basically in the first video, it took me a couple of hours just to clear out this 20 or 30 foot area right here. So that I could get to the ground. And then once I started digging in the hole with this shovel, kept running into all these roots. So there's one of the bags that got buried under the ground. I'm buried right now. We kept running into all those roots and all these rocks. But hallelujah, praise God. Thank you for the gift of these wonderful giant rocks. I mean, uh, look how big that rock is. Woo, perfectly flat too. See that? Oh yeah, I'm about to eat those fish. <laughs> okay, so in the last video, I was trying to duplicate something I saw on YouTube. So I cut open this can right here, this very lightweight flimsy can and tried to start a fire in it and then set my fish on top of it. But as you see, as soon as I set the fish on it, it flipped over, next thing you know, I had dirt flavoring added to my fish. So this time I'm gonna turn it sideways. As you see, got a good fire going. I'm gonna use these skewers to hold the fish like chopsticks because when I tried to skewer it through the fish, it fell apart on me. I don't wanna get dirt on my fish again. But rather than eat raw fish out of the can, I would rather put a little fire to it. Of course, using an aluminum can is probably not that healthy either. But if you're in a survival situation, you do what you can. Ha uh, get it? All right, now I'm gonna start messing around and get back to the high speed digging and filling up these sandbags. If you try this, by the way, that aluminum can really stinks. Ugh. That's why I would rather use all these wonderful rocks. Build a fireplace stove.